coming all the way down to your mat, big toes together, knees are wide, trying to keep your hips low, slowly walk it all the way out. Let your forehead rest on your mat, keep your arms long, all of your fingers actively pressing down into the floor. Every time you breathe, try to make your spine a little bit longer. One more deep breath in and release. Gently press up to your tabletop. We'll take a few easy cat cows here. Big inhale as you lift your chest and exhale to round. Come back to your neutral spine and gently press back into your child's pose. We're gonna take one inhale in the center and exhale both hands over to the right side of your mat. I'm gonna put my left hand on top of my right. We're finding a nice long side stretch here. Trying to lengthen from your left pinky all the way down to your left hip. One more big inhale, exhale back to center. Take one active breath here, pressing your palms down and exhale to the other side. Finding length through your shoulder, your ribs. One more deep breath in and exhale back to center. Take one more active breath here and exhale to all fours. Take a nice easy cat cow. Inhale your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale thread through until your right shoulder hits the floor. We're gonna keep that left hand actively pressing down so you have some nice energy, a good connection into the floor. From there, I want you to kick your left leg back like you're in a plank. So two points of energy here, left hand pressing down, left heel pushing back, and we're trying to twist around that energy you've created. One more deep inhale. Exhale, lower your left knee down. Inhale, lift your right arm up. And exhale to all fours. Nice, easy cat cow. And we'll inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread through. Actively pressing your right hand down. When you're ready, kick your right foot back. Create your two points of energy and then try to deepen your twist. One more deep breath in. Exhale your right knee down. Inhale, left arm up. And exhale, lower into your final cat cow.
Again, coming to a neutral spine, we're gonna tuck your left toes under, kick your right leg back, exactly like you were, except this time it's lifted. So you have a straight line from your heel all the way up to the top of your head. All of your fingers are still actively pressing down. When you're ready, I want you to exhale and lift your left knee two inches off the ground. We're just gonna hold here for a few breaths, building a little fire in your thigh and in your core. One more deep inhale. Exhale to your three-legged dog. Take your right leg up. Let your left ankle relax. Go ahead and bend at your right knee and take a few circles here. Just trying to open that hip up. And kick your right leg all the way back up. Exhale, lower to your downward dog. Let's take a breath right here, pressing your shoulders to your uh, toes. Inhale, lift your heels high. We're generally going to walk our feet all the way up to our hands. And we'll hang out right here in this fold for a few breaths. You can take whatever version you'd like. I'm gonna bring my pinkies up to my elbows and just gently rock my hips back and forth. Gently drop your hands down. Bend your knees, we're gonna roll up to our Tadasana. Inhale, sweep your arms. Exhale, press your palms together, bring them down to your chest. Active upper body here, I want you to lift your elbows, actively press all of your fingers together. So you're creating energy from your back into your palms. And I want you to pull your thumbs into your sternum so all of that energy is connected to your heart. Take a deep breath in as you actively press your heels into the floor. And deep sigh out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bend your knees, come to a flat back. And exhale to your high plank. We're gonna hold right here for a few breaths. Working on building that fire in your core again, actively pulling your shoulders down so your neck is long. Push your heels behind you. Equal pressure in all of your fingers. One more inhale and exhale. Gently shift forward and we'll lower all the way to our mat. Untuck your toes. We'll start a few easy cobras here. Inhale, lift and exhale, lower. Each one getting a little deeper. Trying to keep your lower body relaxed here. Last one, we're gonna hold all the way up for just a few breaths. I want you to think of lifting your sternum up to the ceiling and letting your hips fall to your mat. On your next exhale, lower all the way down. We'll press back into our child's toes for a deep breath. Actively pressing your fingers down.
one more big inhale. Exhale up to all four. You can take an easy cat cow, cow here if you'd like to. We're going to tuck our right toes under. Press your left heel back so you have a nice long line from the top of your head to your heel. When you're ready, we'll exhale and lift your right knee two inches off the ground. Belly button is lifted up to the ceiling. All of my fingers have equal pressure. Final inhale. And exhale to your three-legged dog. Oh. Go ahead and bend that knee. We'll take a few circles, trying to open up that hip. Oh. Inhale, kick that leg all the way up. And exhale, lower to downward dog. Oh, adjust as you need to. We'll take a deep breath right here. Sending your hips up to the ceiling, sending your chest to the floor. Inhale, lift your heels high and gently walk your feet up to your hands. Bend your knees, slowly roll up. Big inhale, sweep your arms, and exhale, hands to your heart. Deep breath in, and sigh out. Press your heels a little bit further into the ground, and release. Inhale, sweep your arms, exhale, swan dive. Inhale, flat back. Let's exhale to our low plank, chaturanga. Gently set yourself down on your mat. Inhale to your cobra or your upward dog if you're ready. And exhale all the way back to downward dog. We're gonna take one sun salutation. Big inhale, lift your heels high. Bend your knees, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga. Big inhale to upward dog. And exhale to downward dog. Take one deep breath here. Inhale, kick your right leg up. Exhale through to warrior one. Actively pressing your left heel behind you, reaching your arms all the way up. One more big inhale. We're gonna exhale to humble warrior. Reaching your arms behind you. Keeping both heels active, so you have a nice firm base. Inhale back to warrior one. Exhale to your low lunge. We're gonna step your left foot in. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. One more flat back. Exhale to chaturanga. Take a big new breath as you reach forward. And empty your lungs as you press back. One breath here. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale to warrior one. 
actively pressing both heels down, lifting your chest up. When you're ready, reach into your humble warrior. One more breath. Inhale back to warrior one. Exhale to your lunge. Bring your right foot in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, dive. Flat back. Chaturanga, do your upper dog and downward dog. One deep breath here. Inhale, kick your right leg up. Exhale through to warrior two. Still actively pressing both heels into the ground. This time fingers are reaching away from each other. On your inhale, we'll go to high triangle and exhale into your warrior two. We're just gonna go back and forth a few times here. Trying to increase your range of motion, getting a little deeper into that warrior two. One more big inhale. We're gonna reach into our triangle pose. From here, your right arm is gonna reach to your leg, to a block or the floor. I want you to kick your left hip back and gently fold over that front leg. Try to look up to your left hand, focusing on pulling your ribs around so they're nice and open. Make sure both shoulders are pulling away from your ears. Your neck is long. One more big inhale. Exhale, reach your left arm up over your head. And inhale, come all the way up. We're gonna turn both toes over to the left side of your mat. And we'll take a nice wide fold right here. Just the weights, the balls of your feet. Come to a nice flat back here. You can put your hands up on something if you have trouble coming to a flat back. I like to come to my fist. When you're ready, I want you to take a big deep breath in and exhale your right arm up to the ceiling. Try to keep your focus at those right fingers and keep equal pressure in the balls of your feet. Don't let yourself twist more one way or the other. One more deep breath in, twist a little further. Exhale, lower that arm down. Bend your knees, we'll slowly roll up. Big inhale, sweep your arms. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale to chaturanga. One more deep breath in, big sigh out. Inhale, kick your left leg up, 
Exhale to warrior two. Actively pressing both heels into the floor. Reaching fingers as far away from each other as possible. Inhale to your high triangle and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale. Last one, hold your high triangle and we'll reach into our triangle pose. Right hip kicking back, left hand reaching to the floor. One more deep breath in and come all the way up. We'll transition to our wide fold. And come to your fat, flat back. Shift your weight onto the balls of your feet. When you're ready, take a big breath in. Exhale your left arm up. Keeping weight even on your feet. Twisting through your torso. Trying to bring your right ribs forward towards the front of your mat. And exhale, lower all the way down. We'll take a deep stretch right here. Just reach your hands behind you. Let your head fall down. Try to relax your thighs. Gently bring your hands back. We'll bend our knees, roll all the way up. Inhale, sweep your arms. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heels high, bend your knees, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, exhale, sink into your chair pose. We're going to bring hands to your heart, just like we started with today, pulling your shoulders down. Actively pressing palms together and pulling that energy so everything is connected. See if you can press your heels a little more firmly into the ground. Sink a little deeper. And inhale all the way up. Reach your hands to the ceiling. We're going to gently lift your heels up off the floor. I like to think of just pressing the balls of my feet down. Go for a little balance.
One more deep breath in. We exhale, right arm down into a side stretch, actively pressing your hips over to the left. So there's more weight on your left foot than there is on your right here. I'm also pressing my hips slightly forward just to get a nice stretch in my hip flexors. Inhale back to center. We're gonna to exhale to twisting chair pose. Your left hand is going to the floor, right arm to the ceiling. I want you to try to sink your hips lower than your chest here. So if you need to put your hand on a block or up on something a little bit higher, you can do that. I am focused on bringing my left ribs over to my right knee. One more big inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale all the way up. I want you to pop your right heel up off the ground. And when you're ready, pull that knee into your chest. Take a spot in front of you to focus. I like to focus on where the wall meets the floor in front of me. It gives me a good spot, but you can pick anything that works for you. From here, Ooh, from here, we're going into our standing leg extension. So just holding onto your knee is option one. Option two is to grab under your thigh and press your heel forward. Option three is to take your peace fingers to your big toe and come all the way out. Actively pressing that left heel into the floor. One more big inhale. Exhale, knee to your chest. We're kicking into warrior three. Hands are gonna reach behind you to start. A couple points of energy here. Your fingers are reaching behind you. Top of your head is pulling forward and both heels are actively pressing away. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. One more deep breath in. Exhale to your standing split. So both hands down, just kicking that right leg up as high as you possibly can. On your next exhale, lower that right leg down. We'll inhale to a flat back. Exhale to chaturanga. And your downward dog, take one deep breath. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, and step or jump. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. We're sinking into our chair pose. You can bring your hands to your heart like we already did. You can leave them reaching overhead. If you choose this version, make sure they don't lower down. You want to straight line from your fingers all the way to your tailbone. Your heels are still your anchor here. They are actively pushing down. Core is tight and controlled. See if you can sink a little bit deeper and inhale all the way up. We'll take that same balance. Press the balls of your feet down into the ground and let your heels hover. One more deep breath in. Exhale, lower your heels down. Left hand comes to your left thigh. Gently reach into your side stretch. Inhale, 
When you're ready, inhale back to center. We exhale to our twisting chair pose. Right hand comes to the ground. Left arm reaches up. Trying to bring your right ribs to your left thigh. Weight is equal on your legs. See if you can drop your hips a little bit lower. Exhale, hands to your heart, sink nice and low. And inhale all the way up. Pop your left heel off the ground. When you're ready, knee comes into your chest. And we find our way to our standing leg extension. Remember option one, option two, and option three. Find your points of energy that work for you. I'm focusing on both heels, my right fingers reaching away, and my head being pulled up to the ceiling. One more inhale. Exhale, knee to your chest. And we'll go to warrior three. Find those same points of energy. They've shifted a little bit. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up overhead. Heel reaching away from your fingers. One more big inhale. Exhale to your standing split. Great work, everyone. Just try to relax into this position. Releasing that right leg, releasing your shoulders and your head. One more big inhale. Exhale, lower your left leg down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to chaturanga. One deep breath in and a big sigh out. Inhale, kick your right leg up. Exhale through to your low lunge. We're going to keep both hands on the ground here. If you have trouble reaching the ground, you can come up onto blocks or grab onto a table or something that you have around you. I want you to take a big inhale, press your hips to the ground. And exhale to your long pyramid. You're just going to straighten your front leg. Let your left heel relax to the floor. It probably won't touch. And that's okay. Big inhale forward. And exhale, straighten. Take two more here. We'll hold your long pyramid, dropping your shoulders, letting your forehead fall down to your shin. Inhale, gently shift forward up to your crescent lunge. Both arms are gonna reach up. See if you can lengthen your lower back by tucking your pelvis and maybe dropping your left knee just a little bit. On your next exhale, your right arm is gonna reach back to your left thigh and we'll take our left arm over for a nice big side stretch. Trying to lengthen from your left fingers all the way to your left knee. Good 
One more big inhale. Exhale to your twisting lunge. Left arm down, right arm reaches up. Push your left heel behind you. One more big inhale. Exhale, lower your right arm down just inside your right foot. You just could also be on a block. We're gonna take our left heel down. So both heels are actively pressing into the floor and we'll come in to our side angle pose. Reach your left arm up. Trying to pull your right ribs to the left side of your mat. If you'd like, you can reach into your extended side angle. Let's exhale and reverse our warrior. One more big inhale and exhale to your chaturanga. Deep breath in and empty your lungs. Inhale your left leg up and exhale, step through. Big inhale, push your hips to the floor and exhale to your long pyramid. Take three more there. We'll hold our long pyramid, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your head. When you're ready, shift forward to your crescent lunge. And you lengthen your lower back. And you lengthen your neck. Big inhale. Exhale your left arm back. Nice big side stretch. One more big inhale, exhale to your twisting lunge, right arm down, left arm up to the ceiling, pressing both heels down or away from you. <laughs> One more deep breath in, exhale, lower your left arm to just inside your left foot. We'll take your right heel to the ground. When you're ready, right arm reaches up to your side angle. If you'd like, you can extend your right arm. Reaching your right fingers away from your right heel. Inhale all the way up, we'll reverse your warrior. And exhale to Chaturanga. Take deep breath in. 
sigh out. Inhale, kick your right leg up. Exhale to your low lunge. We'll take your left knee down this time. Big inhale, arms all the way up. We're gonna exhale, reach your arms behind you and lift your chest up. You can stay right here. If you want to make it a little deeper, we'll grab onto that back foot. And gently release. We're going to come into our half splits. So take your hips all the way back to your heel this time. Just let that right foot relax in front of you. We're going to flex it though. And then when you're ready, gently fold forward. Take one more breath here. Slowly roll all the way up. We'll come back into your lunge. We're gonna take a low lizard. So leave that left knee on the floor. You're gonna take your right knee out to the side. You can start with a little pressure just to get that leg, that hip to relax. When you feel like it's starting to relax, you can bring your upper body down to the floor as low as you can. One more deep breath in and release. We're going to kick back to your three-legged dog and exhale into your pigeon pose. Take your time. If pigeon pose here is too much for you, you can always flip onto your back and take a figure four instead. I'm going to push my right foot up towards the front of my mat. So my right shin is as parallel as I can get it to the front of my mat. From there, just gently walk your hands forward. Take your time. One more deep breath here. Slowly make your way up. We'll go through our vinyasa and meet and down our dog. Take your time. Equal pressure on all of your fingers. Relax your shoulders. Relax your thighs. Relax your ankles. One more deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, step through to your little lunge. Right knee to the floor. Arms reach all the way up.
Take arms behind you, lift your chest. If you'd like to get a little bit deeper, grab onto your right foot. Letting your hips release. No tension in your neck. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release to our half split. Gently sit all the way back. Flex your left toes up when you're ready. Walk forward. Try to keep that left thigh relaxed. Just let your forehead drop down to your knees or your shins, wherever it's reaching to. One more breath here. Gently shift forward. Your low lizard, adjust as you need to. I'm going to press my left knee out to the side and then gently make my way down. Take one more deep breath here. Gently come up. We'll inhale to our three-legged dog and exhale to your pigeon pose. Adjust yourself as you need to. Take a big inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, slowly walk forward. Remember, you can always take this on your back. We'll take one more breath here. Slowly make your way up through your vinyasa. Big deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Let's take a few dancing dogs right here. Inhale forward. Exhale, drop your hips, lift your chest. Inhale back. Exhale, press into your downward dog. Let's take two more. Last inhale, shift forward, set your knees down, and press back into your child's pose. Notice how it feels differently than when we started. Your hips maybe feel a little more relaxed. 
Your back maybe feels a little more open, a little bit longer. You can press your fingers down into the ground more firmly, have a better connection to the earth. One more big breath in. Deep sigh out. Take your hands to your shoulders. Press your hips to your heels and slowly roll all the way up. We'll gently come around to a seated position. We're gonna start with our left heel up to our right thigh in a seated tree. Big inhale, reach your arms up and exhale forward to your right leg. If you can just grab on to your shin, that's fine. If you can grab onto your toes, get a nice flex in that foot, trying to keep your right thigh relaxed. And everyone exhale, drop your head all the way down. Keeping your right hand where it is, I want you to open up your chest into a side stretch. If you can, if it's available to you, you can grab onto your big toe. If it's not, just keep a nice long arm. And big inhale, your left arm all the way to the back of your mat. We're going to press your hips up to the ceiling and reach your right arm behind you for a nice little counter stretch. One more big inhale. And exhale all the way down. We'll switch sides. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach forward. When you're ready, open up to that side stretch. Head can be wherever you're comfortable, as long as that left shoulder is relaxed. One more big breath in. And reach your right arm all the way behind you. Press into your counter stretch. Slowly lower all the way down. Let's take both legs straight out in front of you. Flex your feet. Inhale overhead. And exhale forward. Relaxing your thighs, relaxing your shoulders. Letting your head drop as low as it will go. One more big inhale. Exhale, we're gonna roll all the way down to our mat. Our counter stretch will be a bridge or a wheel. You can choose whatever is in your practice. I'm gonna press up to a wheel. On my next inhale, you can press up into a bridge if you'd like to.
One more deep breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Pull your knees into your chest. And gently stretch all the way out. Fingers reaching away from your toes. And a big sigh out. We're going to go into our resting pose now. You can take whatever resting pose you'd like to. Today, I'm going to do mine and my inversion. So I'm going to take my legs up onto my couch. You can take yours up onto a wall or a chair. Anything that gets your thighs your legs above your heart. So from here, I'm gonna come all the way down, turn my palms up to the ceiling, and just take a few deep breaths, focusing on releasing my shoulders and my lower back. Try to slow your breathing down. Let your head sink into the floor. Let the muscles in your arms start to fall away from your bones. Take one more deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Wherever you are, gently pull your knees into your chest. Take a little rock back and forth. And we'll just fall over to one side. Release your hands, gently make your way up to a seated position wherever you are comfortable. Bring your hands into your heart the same way we've been doing all day. An active press through all of your fingers. Lift your elbows up so you have energy coming out of your back. And then connect all that energy into your heart. Take a deep breath in. Big sigh out. Fill up your lungs. And empty. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your thumbs to your third eye. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you all are feeling wonderful.